All right, Uncle Dan and Uncle Don, this one's pretty much for you. I left a comment about the recall on the kel today, how they're making me wait a couple weeks for my uh, shipping label and whatnot. And then you responded and told me how you know of a guy that said they had his gun for a while. It's kind of crappy because, you know, I'd be happy enough if they just sent me the parts that need, re need replaced. I'm sure we could figure it out. Um, so you requested to see my mods anyway. Um, this is the rifle. This is a kel -Tec. Um This one here is Beretta configuration. I'm a pretty big fan of Berettas. I might be the only military veteran who's actually fond of them. I know most guys are 1911s all the way, but I've had good experience with them. Um, if the military ever wants to go to a Model 2944, I'd be ready for that. Anyway, guys, I'm not Texican. I'm from Pennsylvania, so maybe we'll come up with a new word. Pennsylvanican. Pennsylvanican. I don't know. Pennsylvanican. Pennsylvanican. I'm Pennsylvanican. But I got this here thing. All right, the biggest problem I have with the rifle, and I'm going to get to the mods in a second, is with the Beretta model, for whatever reason, it's got this here flare at the pistol grip. I think it's so it can accept like the compact mags, and it's really it doesn't fit doesn't fit at all. No finger grips ever fit my hands. You probably know the story. Anyway, Beretta makes plenty of 30 round mags. That's a 30 round factory mag. It comes with that here thing. I don't know why, but that that of course, geez, that of course locks in there tight too. So I wanted it in Glock. Couldn't find it in Glock. All right, well here's my here's my modifications. All right, number one. I took off that here clip that locks that in place because I really found I have no reason to lock it folded. So it's easier to not have to get your hand in there should you need it. I mean, this isn't really a go-to gun for me, but so I took that off number one. All right, number two, one, two, four top rails here. I don't know if we're gonna see this on the camera. I flattened them out. Okay, try to get it as level as I could. I flattened them out here by hand. I think I had a file. Because if you know, you know how these guns are. This has some weird ass uh, taper to them. And I notice when I remove and put on my red dot, it lines up better by keeping them rails flat. So I did that. The other mod is back here. Let me fold it just for the video's sake here. The other mod is back here in the butt stock, and I took this here, Bushnell TLR1, is that what? I don't know what they call this thing, Bushnell Scope Red Dot, and all I did, I took an old picket, Picatinny rail here, a little chunk of that that I had lying around from another AR or something like that, and I got ahead and screwed it in there with two black hex bolts. This is only plastic, so pretty much anything you have will... We'll lock down in there, just don't over tighten them. And that way I can still carry the gun per se with that. Of course, if I was in the woods or doing whatever I'm doing and I had my mag in there, if the bolt was locked back, all I would need to do is obviously boom, 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 hit the bolt and then I can engage something with the iron sights. And then when shit calms down, go ahead and pop that red dot on. But that's all there is to my mods, guys. Real simple, but it is what makes the rifle mine. And, you know, as a gun owner, you know what I'm talking about when I say that. So, hopefully I'll get this thing off, get that barrel taken care of. You say it's a barrel nut. I haven't looked much into here, but I'd imagine it's a matter of a couple screws. The barrel nut. I'm sure you need some sort of particular wrench for it. But I'm going to send an email to Caltech, see if they'll just send me what I need to replace that. All right, so I'll get this video posted, and I'll link it up to you guys. Thanks a lot. I'm going to subscribe to you guys right now. I forgot to do that when I watched your video before, I'll be honest, but I'm going to do that now. And I uh, look forward to seeing some of your content. Have a great Texican day here from Pennsylvania, Ken.